G'day crypto goers, I'm Adam Stokes. Welcome back to the channel where I bring you an update from the markets. A bit of a Greek salad out there, as you can see, different colors all over the place, but let's talk about Sol. This thing is up 30.63% in the last 24 hours in its own little mini bull run going ballistic. This is a proof of history coin that is competing directly with Ethereum, flipping Dogecoin today, moving further up the charts, currently sitting in position number seven and climbing fast. I would warn you not to FOMO into this coin because we've had a huge run up over the last week. In fact, over the last few weeks, this thing has just continued to perform. And I've seen it many times before, as I'm sure you have as well, where people come in and buy the top and then the thing suddenly pulls back. However, this may be different because we can see that there is in fact real value behind this coin. So what is driving this price up? Well, in simple terms, it's because the coin is working. It's delivering and giving its users what it promised to give and that is a platform that can compete with Ethereum. I want to take a little bit of a tangent before I go on Solana's performance and talk about something I heard on a channel the other day with respect to Bitcoin versus Ethereum. Now, these are two completely different coins. Bitcoin is not designed to do what Ethereum can do, and Ethereum was one of the first smart contract coins out there. And many people have said that Ethereum will flip Bitcoin and Bitcoin will fall further down the charts. What has this got to do with Solana? Well, a lot. The thing is, when it comes to Bitcoin and Ethereum, Bitcoin doesn't actually have any competitors. Now, hold on, hold on. Before you say there are lots of coins that do what Bitcoin does, let me explain. Bitcoin is unique, not only because of its supply, not only because of its brand, not only because of its first to market approach, but its real advantage is that it's completely trustless. There is no owner. There is no company. There is no centralized leadership, and that is the true power of Bitcoin. It has no competitors. All other coins that try to compete with Bitcoin, they say, we're going to do Bitcoin better because we can do it faster, we can have better block sizes, we can do it on proof of stake, we can do it on proof of history, we can have cheaper transaction fees. Now that may be true, but the reality is there are thousands of coins that can do that. And there are thousands of coins that can be corrupted, either through a centralized body that can print more of it, or a centralized body that has a significant percentage of ownership. That is, if someone owns 30 or 40% of Bitcoin and they dumped it, that would really affect the market. But when we take all these factors and compare it to Ethereum, of which I am a huge fan of and have massive holdings in, you can see Ethereum has countless competitors and legitimate competitors. First of all, Cardano, obviously. Then you've got Polkadot. You could argue Avalanche, perhaps VeChain to an extent, although that's, that's more specific, but then you've got Solana. And this is a reminder to all of us in the crypto space that in fact, Ethereum has a lot of legitimate competitors. Now, Ethereum does have the network effect, but the truth is the network effect is only as good as that effect is in play. Let's go back in history and consider Yahoo. Yahoo had the network effect. Did that mean it couldn't collapse? What about AOL? Was that beaten? What about Hotmail? Was that beaten? What about eBay, which has kind of been beaten by Amazon? Take your pick. Network effect does not guarantee that you will hold that top position indefinitely. What it really does is invite a lot of competitors to come and smash you. So breaking away from what I was saying about Bitcoin, in my opinion, having no legitimate competitors that can match the fact that it was first to market, has a really low supply, is completely trustless, has massive brand recognition, has huge market confidence, has massive market dominance. When we go into the smart coin space, we can see a lot of very valid competitors. I forgot to mention also the Binance Smart Chain, which is another competitor that could be coming up to Ethereum. So Ethereum is facing a lot of pressure from some very, very strong platforms. Let's look at a few reasons why Sol is succeeding. First of all, people are actually using it. People are turning up and using this to either farm stable coins, provide liquidity provisions, get into NFTs, particularly within the games. NFTs is something that I've been really excited about in the crypto space. And we can see that NFTs have a really big limitation. Now I've minted my first NFTs, check them out there on the crypto land if you'd like to have a look, is that it cost a lot of money to mint them because I was doing it on the Ethereum network. But if I can mine those same NFTs, even if I replicate them and put them on the Solana network, I can do it for far cheaper than what I can do on Ethereum. So everything that we're doing on Ethereum, yes, 2.0 is coming out. They've been saying it for years, still not out. If you don't deliver 2.0 shortly, you're going to be destroyed by, take your pick, Solana, ADA, DOT, 
these coins are coming up fast and hard. You can also see that it's a two-way relationship with not only users using Solana, but primarily you have to have the developers developing on Solana, which they are. They are coming to the Solana site to build on this platform. And as a result, you have this win-win situation of developers and entities having somewhere to build efficiently on a proven platform. And equally, the users of those products are turning up to actually use what was built on that platform. And as a result, demand is increasing. Then you have this runaway effect, of course, that once we see the market start to run away, even if it is a sub-market such as Solana, that being a market within a market, the Solana coin within the crypto market, it creates a FOMO effect, which you can see before your eyes now as we go up to 31.67% just in time of recording over the last 24 hours. We're about to cross the 200 US dollar mark for this coin. Do not underestimate the NFT ecosystem. NFTs are the future in so many areas of everything that we do in life. In my opinion, you will see NFTs everywhere for most things that you do throughout your daily life. And when it comes to gaming, even more so. Gaming is a huge industry. And now that we have an ability to create NFTs in a gaming environment far cheaper than what we can do in Ethereum, Ethereum can't really do it because it just costs too much. When it costs hundreds of dollars to mint anything within a game, then move it around and sell it and apply it to your avatar, these costs, these fees add up significantly very quickly. And when you can mint or move an NFT for a few cents comparative to a few hundred dollars, the market will move. It doesn't matter how much you love a coin. At the end of the day, if I can deliver the same product for cents versus hundreds of dollars, the market's going to go to where it's cheaper. If it's the same product, which ultimately you have to accept at the end of the day, all these coins are simply a computer program, the market will go to where they are treated best. Now let's also consider some of the tokenomics of this coin. So you can see Solana is at position number seven according to CoinGecko. And what I want you to consider is what is the supply comparative to Ethereum? So now that Ethereum is starting to burn some of those fees, we can actually see the supply is starting to drop a little bit, which shows us a bit of deflation. But comparative to Ethereum, Solana currently has a circulating supply of 291 million coins with a total supply of 488 million coins. Now, I like this because you can see many of the other coins are coming out with billions in supply. And when we compare that supply to Ethereum, we can see that Ethereum has a circulating supply of 117 million with a total supply that can't be determined because technically it's unlimited because they could print more of it. But we're seeing that supply pulling back as they're starting to burn some of the Ethereum during those transactions. So if you're looking purely at the token metrics of these coins, the Ethereum supply is much lower than the Sol supply. And arguably that Ethereum supply is going to get much lower. But technically there's nothing stopping them printing more. However, to be fair and to keep the argument consistent, we can see that that supply of Ethereum is dropping, which in terms of pure token metrics, we can see that Ethereum is understandably more valuable. It has a higher use, a higher demand with a lower supply. That's why it is so much bigger than Solana. But don't be fooled by that. This is crypto. Crypto moves quickly. What happens in one crypto year can happen in one human hour. It really moves that quickly. We have huge amounts of money operating in the digital space in a marketplace that never sleeps, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, open up to everyone in the world with the internet connection and descent to their name where they can push it into these markets. This is exciting. It really makes you wonder what is going to happen in the smart coin race. Solana has reminded us all today that in crypto, anything is possible. You cannot take anything for granted. And an industry leader today could be a forgotten coin tomorrow. I'm not saying that's going to be the case with Ethereum. I'm just saying that if you've seen my interview with Charles Hoskinson, one of the most profound things that he said that really sticks out in my mind is that he said, if you've been around in crypto long enough, you know that coins that have been in the top 10 today could fall out of the top 100 tomorrow. Now, I paraphrase terribly, but the reality is what he was saying was that just because a coin is in top 10 today doesn't mean it'll be there tomorrow. Not at all. Equally, just because a coin was in position 30 yesterday doesn't mean it can't be in top 10 today. These markets move immensely quickly. Now, going back to the metrics of Solana, let's answer the question that I know you're all asking. How high can this thing go? Here we can see on the Solana price chart, I mean, it's such a young coin. May 20, we got the data going back. This coin was coming in at 62 cents. And as of time of recording, it's $189.22. So in under two years, we've had a fantastic run up from 62 cents to $189. How high can it go? Well, as we can see in the crypto space, what actually happens is you have these two movements of money in simple terms. 
you have new money coming into the markets within that category itself. You have either retail investors or institutional investors. And then the other way that money comes into a submarket, such as Solana, that is a coin within the crypto market, is you have shifts within the market. That is when people vacate one project and move to another. And that is why I'm talking about Ethereum here. Let us consider the market dominance of Ethereum comparative to Solana. Solana currently has a market cap dominance of 2.25%, whilst Ethereum has a market cap dominance of 18.71%. Nine times more of the market cap dominance is in Ethereum than it is in Solana. Why am I telling you this? Because just a few percentage points shifting out of Ethereum markets into Solana, as we can see, not just investors, but users shifting from one platform to another, you suddenly don't need to rely on that new money coming in, either from retail investors or institutional investors, but just within the market itself. Just this shift from the Ethereum market to the Solana market can see huge amounts of money move very quickly and prices shift overnight. This is crypto, this does happen. And this is where it gets really exciting because the same applies for Cardano and DOT. And all the competitors are out there who are in the smart contract space saying, we want some of that dominance. We want some of that market cap. We want some of the money that's already in the market. And then we want some of the new money that's coming into the market from the retail investors and the institutional investors. Now on the institutional investors, we can in fact see massive amounts of money pouring into Solana from institutions who either want to speculate in this asset or use it for their business. If you understand NFTs, you start to realize that NFTs are not a gimmick. They are in fact a way of life for everything that we do. And as I mentioned, for me to mint my NFTs using Ethereum cost a lot of money. But if I mint on Solana or soon Cardano or DOT or all the competitors that are rising into the market that will do this cheaper and faster or do, as you can see with Solana, actually right now, not in the future, but as we speak, mint NFTs faster and cheaper, people will go to where they're treated best. So back to the price prediction. How high could this thing go? Well, it could easily double. A 2x in crypto is not unheard of. But does that mean that you should buy right now? Well, if you apply technical analysis, I would suggest not. Why? Because you can see this massive run-up as I zoom in a little bit more over the seven-day period. This run-up is arguably not sustainable without some type of pullback. But of course, because crypto is crypto, nothing is certain. This coin has immensely healthy volumes behind it. It has huge amounts of institutional investment coming into it. And the last point is that it actually has big financial backing. Now, don't be fooled with financial backing because EOS is a good example that we should all remember in the crypto history timeline. EOS was one of the, I think, the most successful ICO in crypto history, raising billions of dollars. And you would think with all that money behind you that you couldn't fail. Well, in fact, EOS, I wouldn't say it's failed, but it's not doing anything like the other coins are doing around it. Dogecoin is beating EOS. And that's a meme coin that does very little. So whilst it's very impressive with the amount of money that's backing Solana, it doesn't guarantee that it will lead to its success. But combined with the fact that devs are actually developing on this platform, the NFT ecosystem is blossoming, institutional and retail money is pouring into this space. And the everyday crypto goer can use this platform either as a speculative investment or an actual application in everything they're doing in the crypto space. This is a coin that is taking the markets by storm and it is a coin that reminds us that in crypto, anything is possible. What are your predictions on this coin? How high are we going? What are we going to see this coin reach? In my opinion, you are comfortably going to see a $1,000 Solana if its competitors don't dominate it. You must keep in mind that the smart contract coin space is where it's all at at the moment. It really isn't about one of these coins beating Bitcoin. Bitcoin does what it does. It doesn't pretend to do anything beyond what it's meant to do. A store of value, a slow but safe medium of exchange. Bitcoin is Bitcoin. It is the digital gold that does what it does. The real race in my mind is this smart contract coin space. Can these coins coexist? Will there be a Solana, an ADA, a DOT, a Binance Smart Chain and more all operating in synergy? Will Ethereum 2.0 just knock all of these coins out of the water and this is just a quick run up that will trick the FOMOers in to come in and blow all their money? Or is there another coin that we don't even see on the markets today that's going to come in and learn from all of these other coins and just knock them all out of the race and dominate? What are your thoughts? Leave them below. 
Don't forget to give us a like, share and subscribe if you got any value out of this video. Also, if you'd like to buy any Solana or check out the new Cryptoland Art Studios NFTs, come over to the crypto.land where you can do everything crypto in one safe and secure site. I'm Adam Stokes. Thanks for listening. Happy investing. Go Solana, you good thing. And I'll talk to you next time.